In Book 13 of the Iliad, the Trojans are through the Achaean Wall. Zeus takes his eyes off the fighting, and the sea god Poseidon takes advantage. He inspires Great Ajax, Little Ajax, and the troops around them to hold back Hector. After his grandson is killed, Poseidon inspires Idomeneus of Crete and his fierce aid, Meriones, on the left of the battle. He doesn't dare openly defend the Achaeans for fear of Zeus's punishment. With Poseidon's support, Idomeneus and other Achaeans kill and wound many Trojans. Polydamus successfully urges Hector to regroup. Looking for his captains, he finds that many are dead or wounded. Paris speaks bravely and raises Hector's spirits. Zeus remembers to drive on the Trojans, who advance like pounding waves. Great Ajax is not intimidated, making a brave speech. Hector responds, promising to kill Ajax and the Achaeans. With many war cries, the armies clash again before the ships. Now in Book 13, Zeus is gazing at the peaceful land of Thrace to the north of Troy. He doesn't notice that Poseidon defies his order of non-interference. Poseidon gives advice and whips up morale, but Poseidon's intervention can also be viewed as the bravery of desperation. The Achaeans rally. They have nowhere left to retreat to and need to protect their ships. There is more strategy than past scenes of the war. Leaders on both sides consider which part of their fighting line needs to be reinforced. Hector's position in the center of the line illustrates his central role in the conflict. Paris, who has been less than heroic, demonstrates a fighting spirit that lifts up Hector at a time when he is tired and discouraged. This interaction directly pits the honor of one side against the other, both collecting plunder from fallen enemies and protecting a comrade's body can be honorable and glorious, but only one side of the conflict can claim the honor.